You've been drawn to the Bible, and you need to figure out which one's the best for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Matt with So Cincy, helping you discover finding your faith in Jesus. And today we're going to answer a simple yet complex question, and that is, which Bible is the best for me? And in order to do that, we need to tackle three important questions. What are your needs? What is your end goal? And who are you? There's some reason you're drawn to the Bible, and I believe that's good because the Bible has the power to transform your lives. The scripture says that it's good for teaching, to show us where we're wrong in our lives, helps correct us to live right lives. All those things are included inside of the Bible. And the Bible is a great place of encouragement when things seem dark and uncertain in our lives. So the first question we want to ask is, what is your need? Could you tell me what it is that's behind finding why the Bible is so important for you in this time? And ultimately, how does the Bible serve you? What is its purpose for you in your life? So once we establish a need for why you want to find the best Bible for you, we can start to dig in and get more specific on the kind of Bible that you need. But now for the second question, what is your end goal? It's often said that you want to start with the end in mind. So what do you hope to achieve with the Bible being of assistance in your life? In the end goal of a theologian to master the ancient languages and to know the depths and mysteries of what the Bible provides is going to be a little bit different of a end result compared to someone who is a parent and just wants to know some scripture to encourage a child. So I ask you to leave a comment down below this video and let me know what is your end goal for finding a Bible that's perfect for you and I'll reply to some of the comments that I see. And lastly, let's dig into who you are as a person. Are you a new person to following Jesus? And so you're trying to figure out which is best for you? Or have you been doing this Jesus walk thing for a while and your Bible is just falling apart inside? So now you're looking to see what all is available, what are some of the different things that you can find in terms of getting the perfect Bible for you? Or maybe you're giving the Bible as a gift and you want to take into consideration some things that the person you have in mind might want or need in terms of finding the perfect Bible for them. So let's look at some things to consider. Do you want a physical Bible, something that we would call analog, or do you want a digital Bible, something that would be available on a tablet or a phone? Now, if you do a digital Bible, so to speak, there are some pros and cons to it. The pros are that it's you're going to have a phone on you at all times if it fits nicely in your pocket. And most translations that you're going to find and apps are going to be free for you to use. So those are some pros to finding a Bible that's digital. The cons are is that you have to have it charged and the upfront cost if you're getting a tablet or if you have to, phone, there's those kind of costs. But for the most part, a digital Bible is going to be something that's free for you. And there's a plethora of digital versions out there that all do different things. Or maybe you want a physical Bible. The cons are is that there's going to usually an upfront cost because it takes money to make the materials for the Bible, but that's it. You don't have to charge it. It's just always available as long as it's with you. Second thing you want to consider is do you want to write and take notes in your Bible? With Bible apps and things, usually there's a place where you can highlight and you can leave notes and you can share those notes with friends and it makes it so much easier to do those kinds of things. Whereas if you took notes in a physical Bible, you're not as easily able to share them with friends or family or stuff like that, but you'd have to go an extra step in sending out a text. And then different Bibles come in different things. What I love about the ESV scripture Bible that I I use is that it gives you the scripture on one side and then it gives you plenty of note space on the other so that you can write down your thoughts and take notes and whatever you're studying. So if you look at other physical Bibles, if you look at your just your typical two column Bible, depending on the size of your Bible, you're not going to get a whole lot of space to be able to write down and take notes unless you buy a Bible specifically for that. And so this is a wide margin Bible where it gives you the wide margins on the sides where you're able to write more stuff down. And that's a feature that you can get when you have some of these paper and physical Bibles. Lastly, you want to think about where are you going to be doing a majority of your reading or studying of the Bible? Do you want it to be on the go? So you're going to have to think about the travelability 
of the Bible itself. If you're having this big, massive, huge thing, it's not going to travel as well as something that is small and compact. But then if you have a small and compact Bible, then you're not going to be able to write in it as well as, say, a bigger Bible. So are you going to be at home doing most of your reading and studying and things like that, or are you going to be on the road? Those are some of the trade-offs that you're going to have versus a digital Bible where if you have your phone with you or a tablet with you, you're always going to have access to it. And one other thing you want to consider is going to be the translation of the Bible that you choose. Now, if you are unsure, my recommendation would be start with a digital Bible, use an app or things that gives you multiple different kinds of translations. And so find a verse or two that you like and look at the different options and how it reads. And so if there's one translation that you like over another, then that would be my suggestion. And so the different translations are going to be coming from the original language, which we'll do another video on to give you more information about that. But those are some things to think about as you choose which Bible is best for you. So if you found this video helpful on finding the best Bible for you, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if there's anything that you feel you're missing in order to help you get to your end goal, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be responding to those as well. You can go ahead and click or tap on another video from us at So Cincy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.